Hi everybody. Okay, for maths today, we're looking at um, working on our mental maths, so being able to recall simple number facts very quickly. And so our learning intention for today is I can recall number facts quickly. And I'm going to start by teaching you a game called Flip It. And this is the kind of game that we would often use in maths as a bit of a quick warm up um, at the start of a lesson to get our brain switched on and into sinking mode. And it's a really good one to play at home because you can adapt it to all different levels. We actually got this one off the grade three, four team um, at school. Okay, so first of all, I decide what my target number is going to be. Grade ones, you might like to start with 10 and make it bigger as you go along. Grade twos, you might like to start with 20. And mums and dads, you can always adjust this number, make it higher if you think your child is ready for that, make it lower for grade ones or for kids who are finding it a bit tricky. Um, to make it even more of a challenge, you could make it a number that doesn't end in a zero. So for example, 27 or 35 or something like that. Okay, but for this demonstration, my target number is going to be 20. So it's really simple. I play with a pack of cards. You can use Uno cards. You can use an ordinary um, set of playing cards. You could use a dice if you've got one at home. Um, if you don't have any of those things, you can just write the numbers um, 1 to 10 or 1 to 20 on some pieces of paper and have them all shuffled up and flipped over. But all I do is pull out a card, so I've pulled out two, and then as quickly as I can, I have to think about what I need to add to two to make my target number, which is 20. So um, I've pulled out two, I want to get to 20, so my answer is 18. And we can try it again. If you had um, more than one child playing this or more than one person, you'd go around and take it in turns. Three. So my target, uh, sorry, my target number is 20. I've pulled out a three. So my answer is 17 because I need to add 17 to three to make 20. Do one more. Okay, I've pulled out a six. My target number is 20. So my answer is 14 because I need to add 14 to six to make 20. If you want to extend your child, or if you've got extra time, you can write it as a number sentence. So I've pulled out two. What do I need to add to two to get 20? It's 18. And there's my number sentence to make it a little bit trickier. Okay, boys and girls, I want you to play a few rounds of that game flip it with your mum or dad or whichever grown up you're learning with today. Let me know how you go but that's something we might use as a warm up um, over the coming weeks while we're learning at home. Okay the second part of this lesson today is I'd like everybody to have a go at logging on to their essential assessment account. Um, the login codes were sent home in our take home packs at the end of term one. If you don't have your login, that's completely okay. Just send me a message on class tag and I will send it back to you. Um, now once you log in, there's a little game icon down the bottom it will be on a circle. If you press on that, it brings you to um, a section which will give you two options, Sunset Maths and My Spelling. I'd like you to click on Sunset Maths. And there is a game there to practice your addition and your subtraction. I'd like you to start with addition today. And if you would like to, you can also do subtraction or not. That's okay. But these games are designed to test kids' mental maths to see how quickly they can recall number facts. So give it a go. I'll also pop um, the instructions in a PDF as well. 
Um, let me know if you have any trouble logging on or if you've forgot your login details and I can send that to you. But that's all we've got for maths today. Just practicing recalling our number facts as quickly as we can. All right, guys, have fun.